With Word 2007, it is easier than ever to create document elements that make information readily accessible and discoverable. You can draw attention to important information by using elements such as ready-made cover pages, sidebars, and pull quotes. Here we are going to learn how to structure content by using quick parts. All the available quick parts are listed in the Building Blocks Organizer, which you will find on your Insert tab right here. You have your Building Block Organizer. Let's open that just to view a little bit of what we have. <clears throat> now these are all the ones that come um, already included with Word 2007. These were, uh, and you can just kind of play around in here. I, the first time you go to use building blocks and quick parts, I really suggest just creating a, a test document and inputting things at random and just to kind of get the feel of how it would work. But I mean, you have everything in here from header, footer, reference information. You can insert a cover page. You have your watermarks. Um, test box, we have, you know, right, left arrows, as you can see, it clicks right here and gives you a preview of what we're looking at. Um, let's just randomly choose something that we want. Mm, maybe not so random. Those are footers there. Here are our cover pages. And you can see the gallery item tells you what exactly it is. And um, we will just use this just to show you. I'm going to insert. And now it's in my document. And it's a lot easier and it gives it a little bit more uniform if you use these quick parts all the time. Now, that's the really easy way to quickly jump in and start using the building blocks feature. Another feature is actually to save you time so that you're not always copying and pasting items that you use all the time in different documents. What we're going to do is look at, here we have our own cover page that we've created and it could be we're about ready to do a big campaign and all of our information is going to use something to this effect so I want to create my own quick part with this cover page so I am going to go on my home tab and I'm going to select all and then I'm going to go back over to the insert tab and click on quick parts and now I have the option to save the selection to my quick part gallery so I can name it, and we will name it Business Report. It's in my Quick Parts, and I want to call it a cover page. Cover page for Business Report Campaign. I'll leave that and I will say okay <clears throat> now if I go back over to my blank document we'll actually just delete this out delete I'm going to insert the one I just created I go to cover page and there's the one that I did. And you can see the built in, those are the cover page building blocks. And I'm going to insert. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Okay. Another way to use this, really, and this is probably one of the ways that I would use it more often, but I just wanted to show you the other feature for you to know that images can be saved into your own quick parts as well. But here is something, you know, a lot of us do is letter writing, and, you know, maybe we have a signature or we manage numerous different people, and so we're just going to copy their signature, and I'm going to add it to a quick part <coughs> so that... I can quickly, instead of typing every time, we're just going to say there, this is general, but I'm going to say it's Joe Smith's letter signature. 
I'm going to click OK. Now, as I said, I, I manage numerous people. So I'm going to say John Doe. He's a sales associate. And his phone number is, we'll say, 1245. So I can copy that. And I'm going to go up here, Quick Parks, Save Selection. I'm going to say John Doe. There's John. So, goodness, letter, signature. So now, if I delete that, <clears throat> I can easily, there's my, my last ones that I've used, but I can go in here. I have Joe Smith. Insert him. There's John Doe. So now, whenever I type a letter, I can just pick the one that I want to use. And maybe I have more, so I can readily put in a bunch of other ones in there too. And the same with here. You know, maybe this information. I start my letters the same way. I could easily quick part that, so I don't have to type this anymore. It can just be in in there for me next time, and I can just click and, and it drops it into the document. So I suggest you just opening a blank document and playing around with what's already available to you in the building blocks um, area. And again, I mean, you can insert dates and times and different information into your own document that you have. So just do that, play around, create some, have some fun.